Hey everyone, it's Greg again from D-Link, and today I'm going to be showing you how to enable motion detection on your My D-Link camera. Now in this example, we're going to be using the DCS 942L. However, if you have a different camera, the setup step should be pretty much the same. Now, to begin, you first need to log into your camera. If you're not sure how to do this, please check out our other videos. Now, to begin, the first thing you need to do is click on the Setup tab on the top. And then on the left hand side, you can click on the motion detection link or with the DCS 942L, there's also a motion detection setup wizard. So in this example, I'm going to show you how to use the setup wizard. So the first step in the setup wizard is actually specifying your motion detection zones or what areas you want to scan for motion detection. Now, right above the uh, live image, you're, you're going to have two different options. You have enable video motion or enable PIR. Now, depending on the camera you have, you may not have the PIR option. However, most cameras will have the video motion. The difference between the two is that with video motion, the camera is able to determine motion based on frame changes. There's actual someone moving between frames. Whereas with the PIR, the camera is able to determine motion based on thermal change. Okay, or temperature change. So in this example, we're going to use the video motion. So I'm just going to put a check in that box. And then right below it here, again, you have your live feed. You can just draw a box around whatever areas that you want to scan for motion. Okay, you can do as many as you like. And then just to the right here, you have sensitivity. Okay, by default, it's set to 90%. And what the sensitivity is, is it's the sensitivity level of how the camera determines motion. So for the higher the sensitivity, the more sensitive it is to any type of movement. So I'm just going to leave it at that. However, you may need to change this depending on your environment and what kind of motion you're trying to capture. So I'm just going to come down and click on next. And the next step here is to enable snapshot notifications. Okay, and what Snapshot Notifications is, it's notifications that are sent either to an email or a FTP server that are just still images or snapshots. So you can set this up to, you know, always send it out anytime motion occurs, or if you'd like to do it on a schedule, you can specify the, uh, the time and date. And you have a couple other options on, you know, you can specify how many snapshots are sent when motion is detected. You can either do single or you can do uh, six of them. And then again, you have your FTP or email. This is where you're going to be sending them out to. If you are going to be doing this, if, whether it be email or FTP, you will need to know your email settings or your FTP settings in order to do so. However, in this example, I'm just going to leave it disabled. The next one is for specifying video clip notifications. So pretty much the exact same thing as the snapshot notifications, but with video clips instead. So you're able to send video to your email or upload it to an FTP server when motion is detected. Again, we're going to leave this disabled. All right, clicking next. If your camera does offer a micro SD slot, you're able to have your recordings go directly to the micro SD card that would be installed in the camera. Okay, the DCS 942 does offer this, not all of them do, so you'd have to just check with your particular camera to see if it does support it. Again, we're going to leave this disabled for this example. All right, and that's pretty much it. So setup is complete. You just want to click on apply to apply the settings. This should only take a few seconds. Once it's done, you will get a 10 second countdown just for it to complete the configuration. And then you should be brought back right back to the setup tab. Now to know if your, you know, if your video has motion detection activated, what you can do is click on the live video tab. And anytime there's motion detected, right up in the top corner of the live video feed here, you'll see the little running man flashing. That means that motion has been detected. If you did specify any type of recording, the recording icon would also light up. Thank you for watching and please check out support.dlink.ca for more helpful videos.